It starts with Calm down, buddy. Where are your friends? Shut up, boss. I'll kill you. Hello, everyone. My name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and today I'm reacting to Fake Swing 2 uh, by Fake Type. Now, a lot of people might know who Fake Type is. All I know is basically, you know, it's a duo. One of them produces. One of them, I guess, does vocals and whatnot. Um... And I, I, I wouldn't have checked this out on my own, but I was told by our special guest here, uh, Peruko, that this is a must listen. You know, music this year, kind of mid, you know, nothing good came out, you know, until, you know, November 22nd, things all changed. You know, music changed, I would say. I feel like this <sighs> is the album to end all music. You know, greatest album of all time. Daisy Wasaki and Top Ham Hakio of Fake Type, they're changing the game. You know, God bless them. God bless music. Hip hop is never going to be the same. <laughs> uh, so, in other words, uh, it's going to be terrible and we're going to be suffering through this. Um... Yeah, this is dog shit, by the way. My experience with Fake Type is they've produced for a lot of artists in the J pop scene. And because of that, I've heard of a lot of their production and they are ass <laughs> like some of the most annoying electro swing you'll probably hear but it gets worse when you listen to their solo work and you have to hear top ham hat Keo's annoying fucking vocals as he screams at you through his microphone so in general with electro swing i feel like it's very hit or miss I i've heard some stuff that i think is just thoroughly fun and kind of is more in the like I'd say it's more plunder phonics than electro swing, kind of you know taking samples and doing something really interesting or transformative with it. Um, but then there's the side of electro swing where it's literally just the most dime a dozen, awful, like non charismatic crap you could possibly create, and it's just truly hell to sit through. And a lot of this, I, I feel like we can give a couple examples. One, Demon Dice. Okay, anytime that I hear a Demon Dice song. That is Electro Swing. It's already wacky and kooky. And then Demon Dice is doing the worst flow ever. That's also just completely off the rails and basically a non-existent flow over it. So Usually when Demon Dice is doing Electro Swing, she's working with these guys. Um, There you go. Yeah, so a, a combination for the ages. Anyways, let's just listen to the album and get this over with. I, I don't... Uh, I don't know, man. First song, Tune Bangers. Tune Bangers, huh? Featuring... Demon Dice. <laughs> Pause. Okay. Um. Ooh, man. Wow. What? What a quirky, wacky song. Oh my god. So how long is this? A th okay, this is 30 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. 30 minutes of the corniest, goofiest, quirkiest clown music you've ever heard. Clown music. There you go. Wait, that's it. That's exactly what this is. It's clown music. That's... I, I, I don't even need to explain it further from that. Has been hotel type beat. There you go. I mean, think about it. It's literally clown music. Yeah. Like, I mean, let me let me try to break this down to anyone who doesn't see it. Um, artist, instead of making something that is thoroughly enjoyable, makes something that sounds like it belongs in the circus. And instead of trying to make something that's a real, true experience, they just do the wackiest, most insane stuff to try to entertain you. However, uh, it's like clown music, except from someone who never went to clown college, you know? They're a clown college dropout. Anyway, pause. I just want to read out the lyrics for what he's saying right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's. Tr uh, here's the translation. It's about time, do wop. But y'all knew that we are tomb bangers, real to anime. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, I'm still super ha. I'm just rambling. Turn it up, rat a tat. Let's go for broke. It's about time. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! Fucking you know nothing about that!
<sighs> Sounds like another, I want black music, but not that black, just a little. What? What? I'd, huh? <laughs> um, I'd say it's more just rejecting everything that makes... Like, if if I get what you're saying, I, I kind of disagree because it feels like it rejects literally everything that makes hip-hop, I guess you could say, like... Ah, man, I don't know. I don't even care anymore. This shit... Oh, here she is. Now, I don't know if you were paying attention. No, I'm not. Uh, I'll pedal Looney Tunes rap until the planet explodes. I've gotten everything I wanted straying off of the road. I'm Bugs Bunny on the beat, Elmer spraying I croak. Why are you making me listen to this? Why? This is the torture that you basically promised that it would be. Like it really is. I got to say I'm impressed. Like I'm I'm more, what? I'm a minute into this 30 minute album and I'm re I'm just ready to tap out. I'm like, "Nope." Listen, I was impressed that these are some of the worst bars I've ever seen Demon Dice drop. Listen. <laughs> yeah, this is Oh. kind of respect how unhinged this sounds but that's the problem it's really like and shout out william Morancy. it's not that unhinged like it's it's literally acting like it's reinventing the wheel acting as kooky as possible but like this is just nothing new it's just people acting crazy once again over electro swing Wait, I just unmuted the stream and now I hear what's playing. What the fuck is that? I found it. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> like this, for example, the world's worth a thousand pictures is one of those lines that's like, it sounds so quirky or quirky and deep, but then like you think about it and you're like, wait, that literally means nothing. What about a uh, double D to the T? D Double D to the T to the double T H K and dies on the track go on make our day. Let the loud voice multiply, cowboy samurai, east to the west through your screen like a poltergeist. Needs live drums to match the energy of everything else. Oh no, that's a yeah. Well said. The pro it's like so electronic as well. Like it's it's nauseating because there is there's like not a lick of anything that sounds natural, and everything is just like oversaturated to all hell. Um, I'll just say that that was torture. Uh, it that that felt like torture. So if that was your goal, Pruko, to torture me. And yeah, that's you. You've succeeded. I I found that to be uh, pretty unenjoyable. Uh, let's uh, let's move on. Red headphones. Dog. Uh... This literally sounds exactly like the previous. Y you'd like, be amazed if you listen to their entire discography. So, it's like, if you didn't like that last song, congratulations, you're not gonna like anything else on this album. One, two, three, four, five, oh. six. They have six albums, you should try listening to the other five. Have you listened to the other five? Uh, I've only listened to one other album from them, it was not good either. <laughs> Oh, it's so ugly. Oh my god. My god, why? You're right. He is just screaming in my ear. That's literally what more it is. <laughs> more money, more money, fake ass. 
is what he he's saying throughout the song. By the way, Re really? Wow. Yeah. Because he does say some English lyrics throughout the song. That, that's what I've basically been reading, or just the English sections of the song. Because I don't feel like translating the Japanese. Uh, and right now, it, during the English portions, he just says, more money, more money, fake ass. One thing that I preach a lot about in music is breathing room. You know? I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Sorry. <laughs> I just know what you're talking about in regards to this fucking part. So <laughs> and the lack thereof when it comes to their entire fucking discography. Yeah, um I would equate this music to feeling like I'm being waterboarded. Uh <laughs> Uh, musically speaking, um, yeah, it's it's like it doesn't trust the listener enough to be able to have a fun time without them basically trying to beat the living f like shit out of them in terms of just like making it fun for them. <laughs> Recent reviews actually, because nobody knew on album of the year knew who the fuck they were outside of their fans until I came in there like after Fake Swing Two got announced and was like making a massive joke out of the album and was like, "Oh, Fake Swing Two is gonna change music." And then I listened to Fake Swing with one with some friends. Uh, and then I then when Fake Swing Two came out, people actually listened to it because I was making a bunch of jokes about it, and they realized, "Oh, this is shit." <laughs> Like, their music is just the same shit over and over again. And I know this because I've listened to a ton of their stuff. I've listened to shit they produce for other artists. I've listened to shit like Fleeting Lullaby by fucking Edo. That song is dog shit. Brad knows this. I don't. Hey, listen, alright? I, I refuse to speak on my uh, thoughts of Edo's music, okay? What, are you scared her fan base is gonna come after you? Uh, maybe a little, right? Listen, they've come after me enough times. I I'm not scared of them. I'm not <laughs> gonna have another month-long hiatus after this. Um, Her Unravel cover sucked, by the way. <laughs> I think you saying it's like being waterboarded is like a perfect, like, description. Yeah. Because it's like you're being waterboarded by the music. It's not giving you any breathing time. Like, when Top Ham Hat Kyo isn't screaming at you, then Daisy Wasaki is like fucking... Blasting your ears with fucking horns and shit like that. <laughs> How how is Chad doing? You guys doing okay listening to this? The mix sounds straight up oppressive. That's a good way of putting it. It's oppressive music. It's oppressive and aggressive. God, this hasn't aged well. Th this came out a week ago. Like. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to point out that like half of the lyrics towards the end of the song here are just day bay, day bay, ratata, day bay, day bay, la. <laughs> no, it feels like someone screaming at me. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> Basically, you know. Oh, uh, wow. But this has to be good music, Bradley. They're signed to Universal Music Japan, the same record label that signed Ado. I thought it was Ado. No, I was just told in chat I was pronouncing it wrong this entire time. I'm pronouncing it Ado, dude. Like, A-D-O. The A is strong. Ado. Because the vowel comes two letters afterwards. Ado would be like A-D-D-O. Listen, do you think I understand? It's also a Japanese artist. Don't be, don't be racist, Oh Bradley. my god, not this shit. Oh my god. Yeah, if it were English. Hey! Alright, we are in America, okay? We speak American here, okay? <sighs> Alright, let's just, let's continue this. Um... <sighs> Next song, what's this called? Oh. 
Masquerade is what this song is called. Oh, Masquerade, it's... the party, it's like a masquerade ball, you know? Uh, yes, it's like it feels like because I used I played a lot of Planet Coaster, you know. It's like when you make a roller coaster that's too vomit inducing to release, you know, because it's like it'll break your spine and rearrange everything in your body, you know. So you can't, you can't. No one's gonna want to go on it. That's this music right here. This is dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, whenever I played Roller Coaster Tycoon, whenever I made a roller coaster that was in any remotely kind of fun, they were too scared to go on it anyways. Yeah, it's just like real life, you know? I put like one loop on it and they were like, no way, Jose. <laughs> Sorry, you already know I care a lot about being constructive, but this is so far out of my wheelhouse, it makes me nauseous. Don't worry, you and everyone else, at least... You know that I know. I, the universal consensus is, uh, I'm a little too old for to understand this shit. You know, so. Oh my God. <laughs> Some instrument in the song sounds like a boing sound effect when a cartoon character sees a beautiful lady. I, I'm sorry, but there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to identify that out of everything that's happening in this song right now. The soundtrack for when you're 13 on Omegle and it connects you with a 30-year-old man who reads <laughs> your address out to you. <laughs> <laughs> No, a lot of what I don't like about Mindless Self-Indulgence, honestly, I kind of hate about this. Because that music, to me, is so, like, out there and ridiculous. I feel like, but, like, you know, this is more innocent, you know? I, I don't hate it for all the exact same reasons, but certainly the sound of it being as cooped up and crazy as possible for the sake of it is truly... Man, I can't even think of the right words right now. It really feels like it's shutting my brain off. I actively feel like I'm being attacked. Oh my god, another another key change. That was adventurous. That's what I'll say. That was adventurous music. Did you enjoy the adventure? No. Red headphones. <laughs> Dog. <sighs> I actually like ridiculous music like this, but I think fake type, fake type either gets messy or just gimmicky over time. Yeah, it's just I don't know, man. I've I've heard whacked out ridiculous crap like this before. And the problem is, is I feel like it's simultaneously doing the crazy over the top shit and taking itself really seriously, trying to make something that's like supposed to be thoroughly enjoyable, but like it, it's just it's not having it both ways, and I just find this to be tough. Hey, good to what, see you, Space Ashes. You don't enjoy the like the silly trap beats midway through, you know, the electro swing horns, and you know. With Top Ham Keo acting like he's like a sick rapper over it. No, I don't. I don't enjoy that. Now that's that's what I call you know hip hop. Next song. I take you to the barber shop. I let you lick the lollipop. All right. Oh my God! It all sounds the same. Oh my God. Dai's Iwasaki is a very versatile producer. Oh, now, now we get feature who needs to like overperform and show why they're they deserve their spot by giving the most exaggerated vocal performance possible. It's so obligatory with this kind of shit, dude. I can't take it. Why? It, it feels like I'm listening to someone 
give it a self promo tape instead of trying to make the song better. To be fair, they only have like two thousand monthly listeners. Well, that yeah, this is the opposite of ex-military, where instead of hyping me up, it tires me out. No, I feel exhausted. Like I don't know if you guys could tell from my mannerisms, but I thoroughly feel like I don't have the energy to sit. But we will continue. Oh, here he is. I have a theory. People talk loud when they want to act smart, right? So if fake type plays loud, people might think they're good. Exactly. You've you've completely nailed it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? I forgot about that part actually. <laughs> this is like the worst. Oh, I can't handle this shit, dude. Why is it like the vocal? Oh, no. Killing me. I want, I, it's, what I'm listening to right now, it's like, I, I know I hate it. But I don't even fully understand why, and I, I feel like I want to figure it out. It, it feels like it breaks so many rules for music that I enjoy. Like, giving me something to appreciate at each moment of the song. You know, allowing me, the listener, to discover what it wants me to discover and be able to pull it apart on a single first listen and be able to get it and understand it and feel it and feel every moment, every movement. But it's like... It's, it's like it's trying its hardest to distract me from anything going on that isn't just blaring horns and loud screaming and... Crap rap. Oh my, oh my god, there's no way there's another end of song mild key change. Dude. Like. That has happened every single song. <laughs> These are your expensive fancy headphones as they're being no like yeah yeah exactly no my my headphones <laughs> allow me to hear this in full form and I'll just say it again these headphones their best quality is creating a, a feasible, realistic atmosphere, having everything placed exactly where it was intended to be in its original mix. And I can just tell you, with, with my, from my personal opinion with certainty, um, this is pure hell. It is pure hell. Oh my god. Oh... My God, I, I just feel like I've been listening to the same song four times in a row, and that song just happens to be, like, the worst song ever. It's like every electro swing cliche that I hate, all, like, in this beautiful, all-in-one-place package. Your stomach feels weird after this one? I know. It's, it's sickening. Does your headphones, like, allow you to feel every horn oh. blasting into your ear at every corner? Yes. No. Like, the horns, like, actually made my feet tingle. I'm not even kidding. Like, it was so... It, like, I genuinely cringed. So, yes. To answer your question, I feel it all. And I'm feeling like it sucks ass. So. Name of this next one. Uh, Yoso Mono. Yoso Mono. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I can't do this, man. This really was as bad as you said it would be. Like... I, I, I wasn't lying. This hurts. Like, this... Hurts. Yeah, brain rot music. That's exactly what it feels like. It feels like my brain is rotting. Yes. 
and obligatory trip dude trap mix up i i swear to god am i just walking down the same hallway over and over again they, they usually have a pattern you know you start off with the you know electro swing par you were you know top him hat kyo you know he does a bit of you know <laughs> yeah maybe maybe a bit of screaming and then you get to the trappy part where you know he 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 gets a little quieter you know maybe just a little slower a little quieter rapping then you get to the chorus where you know the, the electric swing gets a little louder top ham hat kyo definitely gets louder gets a little bit more screaming you know and then the cycle repeats till the end of the song <laughs> <sighs> Pirate type beat here. Uh, uh, uh. Fucking pirate type beat. Yeah. What? Fucking. Yeah. D shanty. Uh, is it? I can't. I was just thinking. Are you? Are you okay? I was just thinking about the Steven Universe movie where they had that, where like the main antagonist girl, and her theme song was like electro swing. And it sounded. Is, you said the exact same shit the last time you heard a fake swing produced song. Literally the last time you reacted to Fleeting Lullaby on stream because someone sent it in, you said the exact same shit. Yeah. Be because it's accurate. Allow me to play some of it. Say, what did you do without me? What did you do? Without me, what did you play? Ugh. Try not to piss off Warner Bros. <laughs> the the difference though with the Steven Universe movie is like the instrumental, you know, it's quiet so that the so that the artist can do something and there's there's at least breathing room, even though it's cringe, you know? The importance of breathing room, you know, it's it's can't be understated. Oh my god, why is it turning into a black pink song, dude? <laughs> Fake type in, yeah, area. I have to pause every few seconds, you know. I just we're we're a what, little over yourself, like losing your like energy, your mental like energy from listening to this. I I mean I had none from the beginning. Like like there was no mental energy, and now there's less than no mental energy. <laughs> Oh no way, dude! You can't make this up. Yeah, it's the key change. You can't make this up. There's no way they're not aware that they're literally just making the same song over and over again, right? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I can, I can literally, like, introduce you to, like, the fake swing roulette playlist I made, which literally has a bunch of the songs they produce, and you'll learn just how fucking repetitive their music is. I, I, you know, it's a sweet offer of you to present, but I think I'm gonna decline. I don't think I ever want to hear another swing song again in my entire life. <laughs> Bye. Great song. Uh, I give it like a uh, zero out of ten. That's... Our next track is uh, Anger at Theater. You say theater? Theater, yeah. I mean, you've gotten this far and you haven't realized that this is uh, theater core music. Did you know this guy's song inspired a One Piece character? Tom Heck, to, like a music video for a Tom Ham Hakio song inspired a One Piece character. And that, uh, that music video was animated by Demon Dice. Uh, just a, just a little fun fact for you guys. If you ever, uh, 
you ever watched the One Piece film Red movie, uh, just uh, keep in mind, Uda was inspired by the uh, music video Princess by Top Ham Hat Keo, ah! animated by DJ Dice. Ugh. This uh, next song, what? Theater. Angra Theater. Theater song. Oh, sweet mother of God. You can just hear that they feel like they're so cool making this music. Like, you, you just, you just hear it. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, if I have to hear the fucking trap siren one more time, I swear to God. Like, why? What? I think I'm hearing voices. Like, actually. That would just be Nursks, or however the hell you pronounce his name. No, no, no. Other voices besides him. Are we listening to the same electro jazz swing song again? Good question. I don't know either. I don't. I don't think that's this. They did it. Wait, was it? Was that a keychain? No, they did it. They did a song without a keychain. Oh, yeah. They're still progressing. Formula is still. Hey, Didn't progress change. is progress. That was probably the coolest song I've ever. Life is. Hip hop is back. The feature sounded like he was falling asleep on this track, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. He was the uh the other guy alongside uh Mr. Top Ham Hat Screamo. Dog. Dryad, <laughs> next song. Uh, okay. Then we got Honky Tonky Night After. Oh man. And you guys are excited for Honky Tonky Night. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between songs. I, I literally can't. I, I think I'm actually going insane from this. It is rare to listen to something this truly joyless. Did I private session? No. I forgot. Busy being uh, arenated. <laughs> Oh yeah, and this dude's like, he's rapping so fast, but like has no flow whatsoever. It's just like the, the one song, what is it? The, uh, the freestyle, Satanic Cypher. Yeah, right? Where it's like everybody's like going a million miles per hour and saying nothing. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. Why is this the worst? Oh my God. The album, bro, the album art's the only good thing about this. The album art's the only thing that about this entire album that looks good or feels good. Like the art's great. Come on, man. Like. The art is, is pretty decent. I'll give it that. Oh. <laughs> I think this album might be a zero so far. 
Oh, damn. I don't know the last time that I've gotten this little enjoyment out of some. I am so happy I managed to find an album this fucking horrendous. I just, I'm trying to think, because, like, at least with, like, some of the stuff I've listened to recently, it's, like, I've had some fun with it. The Onision was, yeah, pretty much just as bad as this. But, like, wow, I don't enjoy a single moment of this album so far. I find the entire thing to be just completely unbearable. Wow. Wow. You know, I feel like what I'm listening to is basically the equivalent of if everything in the future was like processed food that all tasted like like mush that had no flavor, it would be like it would be this, you know. Oh. They did it. Oh, why? Why? They're they're back at it. They're back at Every it for a time. They're back. Oh. And Izzy was sake with it with the keychain. I'm going insane. Oh my god. Oh This is theater core. It's theater core, but it's like a different subset of theater core because it's like, because it's like, it's, it's like theater, but then it's like overblown and like, yo. Ba-da-da-dang. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> so, what did you think of that one, Bradley? I think that might have been possibly the worst one yet. Which is... Worse than Barbershop. Yeah, but, like, I think it's worse because it just feels like I'm getting more and more lost in the endless maze of this album. Well, okay. So... The next track here is uh. actually in my worst of 2023 list. So you're so. telling me the song Honky Tonky Night is actually the worst song? Believe it or not, Honky Tonky Night is not a good song. I'm sorry. <laughs> next song, Honky Tonky Night. I'm losing it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm losing it. The end is near. It is. It's the same song. I'm I'm telling you, man, I'm lost in maze right now. Where even am I anymore? You are currently on track eight of Fake Swing 2. The second major release of the Japanese electro swing hip hop duo Fake Type. Why does this feel like one of the longest albums I've ever listened to? And I just finished listening to most of a seven and a half hour long ambient album that I actually enjoyed quite a lot. And that felt shorter than this. <laughs> halfway over what how what yeah
It's just so wildly unenjoyable. It's genuinely baffling. That is a great way of putting it. Wildly unenjoyable. It, that's literally what it is. It's like just hell. Why is it so bad? Oh my god, you can't make this shit up! There it is. <laughs> the key changed, the yeah. <laughs> Oh, how? How? Die, he was not like the first Al producer. He's right. just so creative. He just knows what he's doing. He's just, you know, he's he's there making the beats. He's just, you know, he's like, oh, the keychain goes here. Every song. It's a song that I think it's barely it's more saxo beat than uh electro swing but it's a song that I enjoy it's got it's 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 not like the best song ever made but I feel like it's it's simple and just there's there's something to it that works It's simple. But even if you don't like this song, there's things about it that I think are infinitely better than what we've been listening to for the last hour. Well, it gives you time to breathe. Yeah, there's breathing room. It's like nice, clear, filled out production, you know? Like the saxophone, it's given its own sort of little moment to shine. You know, it's not being completely swallowed and whole by the mix. <sighs> that was Honky Tonky Night, and that was, uh, torture. I thought the feature on this song was fucking unbearable. Like, I thought their vocals were horrible. Next song, what's the next song called? Uh, Mannerism Weekend. Uh. What's wrong? <laughs> What's same song at the same tempo? Continue the song. You're you're almost there, Brad. Tina, don't understand. You know, it has been this. What you just heard ten seconds of this exact song. Down to the key change being at the exact last minute, every fucking song last hour. Hi, Tina. You guys and there he goes. Oh, you guys want to see what new vinyls I got? I got this. This. Oh, scaring the hose. I haven't even listened to this album yet. Who got it? Uh, I don't think I've picked up any new vinyls recently. The last one. <laughs> Got this. <laughs> but it is, you guys. It's that album. Oh my gosh, you're an RYM user. I think the last <laughs> vinyl I've gotten was a. Uh... What is it called? I didn't mean to haunt you, by Quedeca. No, Fake Swing Three is not in this. Yeah, you got the Quedeca vinyl. We have a Quedeca vinyl too. I also recently got a Jigoku 6 on vinyl. It's true. You do, uh, you've shown me that too. Naturally Milked Hotel. <laughs> got, I got the Quedeca. <gasps> need to listen to the Underscores album. Pretty I've good. I've heard like a ton of great things about it. Yeah. You know what I just realized? I was able to control the volume through my end the whole time. 
And for some reason, I've been listening to this music, like, loudly. When I could have just turned it down, like, a ton the whole time, and no one would have ever noticed. You know? Yeah. You could have just not been listening to the music at all. Yeah, but you said, hey, Brad, let's stream. Let's listen to this album together. And no, I'm no, like, no. You could have just turned it down oh, all the way on your oh, end. Oh, Peruko, you want me to listen to an album? You know, I care about you very much, and I'm... And I'm sure what you want to show me is great music. And you're like, of course it is. And then you show... First off, you you knew what you were getting into. You knew what the album you were getting into was going to be hot trash. <laughs> Look, I... Okay, maybe. All right, maybe there's a little truth to that, okay? But come on. No one could have expected it to be this bad. Huh. That thing also sounds kind of nice. You know, I kind of liked that ending. I, 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 I actually got enjoyment from that ending. Wow. They did it. They gave you three seconds of enjoyment. But, uh, uh, but it was just like that so That is like 0.1% of the 30-minute album that you have enjoyed. That's true, but at least it's something. It's the only part of the album I've enjoyed so far. That one little so, moment. You are not prepared for the next song, by the way. Final song? Oh, I'm very prepared to get out of here, so... I won't tell you the name of this song. Alright. No name song. Why? Wait, this is a cover. I know this. This is fleeting. It's Ado! No! It's a cover of Ado! Oh! <laughs> oh it's no. a cover of Fleeting Lullaby by Ado. Oh my god! Why? 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 <laughs> I can't. There's no way. Can't make this shit up. They literally made it. They did it. They called me dude. Circle. Wasn't this like one of the worst Ado songs too? Yep. Because it was a fake type produced song. That was part of the issue. Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're really ending off on the weakest song, aren't they? Dude, 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 found out like three days ago the real line is, I watched my grandpa save pennies. I thought that- Yeah, no, no, like, actually. No, seriously, it just straight up sounds like, like, you can know what he's actually saying, and you can hear the line, and it just sounds like, I watched my grandpa say penis. I watched my grandpa say penis. Like, straight up. Like, you can know it's not the line, and it sounds exactly like the line. Exactly like it. I watch my grandpa say penis. So, what did you think of that, Brad? So, there was something you told me recently, but it's like, I would give an album a score, and you're saying, so, so you think there's like 11 points of quality in this thing, right? And I'll be like, yeah, I yeah. I love that. Um, I love <laughs> I, one of the funniest things I say to you. I, I don't think I enjoyed anything in this album. I, I think Damn. this is one of the worst albums I've ever heard. Like, I, I feel like everything that I hate about this style of music is, like, amplified to 11. There's... There's no, th there's no breathing room anywhere. It's torture. I'm feeling a zero. Like. What the fuck? I will say if that cover of Fleeting Lullaby has taught me anything, there is a worse vocalist than Edo. Yeah, no, the, the vocals on this album are straight up cracked out. 
Like they they don't exist on an on on the same planet that we do. And they think that it's cool because of that. When in reality it's just completely unrelatable and it sounds entirely ridiculous. Um I don't know what else to say. I I I did not enjoy this album at all. And it's weird cuz I think it has one of the coolest like album arts of the year. Like I really love this album art a ton. Like to the point of where it's it's shocking that the music is this truly bizarre. Thank you everyone for watching and being here. Uh thank you Peruko as always uh, for being for introducing me to something that I wish I never heard. Oh, so, yeah. You should listen to their entire discography. I can, like, no, set you up with no, a massive playlist no, full of, you know, all of Fake Types discography, no, Tom Hakio's, uh, fucking Dai Iwasaki's why, discography. No. Oh. Good. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Bye, chat.